In this video, I added a giant crafting table to Minecraft that allows you to make some of the biggest items ever. And these weapons can do crazy things, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, look at this Minecraft world we're in right now, okay? It's like a normal plains biome. You have like an oak forest in the background, but you know, they all have something in common. They're normal. Blech. Today, we are going to be doing something that's anything but normal, which is basically like all of my videos ever. But to start it all, we need to make a crafting table and not just any crafting table. Well, we are gonna have to make a normal crafting table, but we're gonna have to make nine of them, all right? And if we get nine crafting tables together, which I'll do real quick right now, boom, and we put the normal crafting table down and we put all of these nine crafting tables in the craft, bam, we get a giant crafting table. <laughs> And this is essentially what you would think it is. It is a super sized crafting table because today we are going to be creating a bunch of super large items. Now we did this over on my other channel that I have with Billy, Grazer and Billy, you can see it in the description down below. I thought it was an amazing idea. So today I took it to the next level and let's place this down in three, two, one, boom. Look at this thing, dude. It is literally as tall as my Minecraft character. Okay, so this is no normal crafting table. And that's why it's like, why are we in this normal world? Oh, that's why, because we have a normal village up ahead, which actually I will take all of that. So basically the large crafting table, I can make all the regular stuff that I always would in a crafting table, like a stone pick, iron sword, you know, any kind of tool. And it will just make it really large. And obviously the larger ones are better, but you know, start it off. We'll make our first large item ever after we scour this little village here. So this looks like a big one. Hopefully, you know, we get more than a leather chest plate in one of the chests and okay yeah i like the apple chests okay i will never complain about those potatoes are potatoes i'm gonna end up throwing them out but i'm gonna take them right now because i think i'll need them even though there are a bunch of hay bales right here before we continue have you ever wanted to start your own minecraft channel and edit videos with ease introducing filmora 10 the perfect video editor for beginners whether you're just looking to create videos as a hobby or even make it a full-time career filmora 10 is the place to start and it's currently available on both windows and Mac. So why is Filmora a good option for anyone? Simply put, you don't need to spend hours or even days learning it, and there's no complicated interface, so you can just jump in and start your edit right away. There are tons of built-in video elements, including text, filters, overlays, transitions, and even animated stickers that can help you create a video in just minutes. Just drag and drop your video into Filmora's editing track, and you can start editing it right away by trimming your clips, cropping your video, adjusting your voice, and even optimizing the color. Here's an example of me using a more advanced feature, chroma key, to remove the background of this portion of my video and replacing it with what you see now. And if you want it even easier, the new Filmora version 10.5 was just released and it includes breakthrough editing features like the new AI portrait add-on that allows you to remove backgrounds and video content without even using green screens or chroma keys. The best part is you can try Filmora for free right now before making any purchase by clicking on the download link in the description below. As a bonus, I'll give the full licensed product away to three lucky winners who leave a comment right now stating why you would want Filmora. Thanks again to Filmora for sponsoring this video. And hey, wait a second. These hay bales. I want a lot of them. Let's put this down real quick. And whoa, look at this crafting table. That looks sick. So this is the giant crafting table interface. And if we put this wheat in here and uh, well, look, it's just like it's not a normal hay bale. It does look normal, but it does say giant hay bale on it. We take this out. We go ahead. We place this down. Boom! We get a ginormous hay bale. It is essentially that. It's just a huge one, and it gives us infinite food. So that's probably a good thing for the first thing we ever crafted, which is great. But you know what else you guys always comment about? Grazer, you know you can break hay bales faster using a hoe. Well, I'm going to make a hoe. We're going to plow through this. There we go, guys. For the first time ever. I'm actually breaking it with a tool that I'm required to do so with and I'm just going to grab a lot of it so that I never need food again for the entire challenge. Look at all that bread. Mm-mm, good. All right, now I don't really want this wooden pick anymore, so I'm just gonna quickly... Oh, and there's another chest in here that I didn't check out yet. Hold on, I do wanna see what does the chest have? I can't reach it from here. Are you serious? Come on, give me something. Oh, more apples. There's a feather, I guess. Guys, I was just trying to make sticks in the giant crafting table and I got giant oak plants. I forgot that everything you make in this thing is giant, even if it doesn't look giant. Okay, so what is this gonna do if I place it down? Whoa! Okay, 
it. I can still make sticks though, and I can still make, boom, our first tool of the day. It's the giant stone pickaxe. So this actually has powers to it. With this thing, I can, you know, well, mine a lot more than I normally would. Now, it's not like crazy, crazy. We've done a lot cooler than that before, but again, it's a stone pick. Wait, can I use the stone pick on the wood? Oh, yes! Give it all to me! Look at this! Okay, perfect. So we can just... <laughs> now we have more wood than we could ever know what to do with. So we'll go ahead and put that at the top of our inventory here. Beautiful stacks and stacks of it. We don't even need to have a wood session today. But the next thing I would like to create using the giant crafting table is an iron pick. Obviously, stone pick is great. It's not that great. Like, it's, it's all right. But we'll grab the crafting table here. It's probably going to make a whole mess around. Ah! And there it is, the big, humongous crafting table. And we are gonna go ahead and try to, oh, I forgot they don't take fall damage. It's all good. We're gonna kill you, Mr. Iron Golem. Goodbye, my friend, I need your iron. Oh, thank you. Three iron, perfect. That's all we needed. Put the giant crafting table down. We will make that iron pickaxe. Now look at the size difference between these things in my hot bar. This iron pick is gonna do well if we try to mine something. <gasps> A lot more. This actually lags my computer and there was moss cobble that just came. Oh, because the village was on. I thought we found a dungeon for a sec. So this is actually more easily probably going to get us a cave. The only problem with having such massive tools, guys, is I can't just easily mine up to where I want to be because it creates such big craters. So it's like a first world problem, but hey, I'll take that as a side effect. But how low can we go? And we just used our iron pick and revealed a mine shaft, but there's a witch! Run, 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 run. I don't want to do anything with a witch right now. That's, dude, I have no armor on at all. We are, look how big this thing is in my hand. Oh my goodness. And we have an amethyst geode right here. Oh, wait a second, guys. What if I just completely demolish the amethyst geode with my, with one of my pickaxes? Okay, here goes nothing. I know, they're usually really beautiful, but say goodbye to the amethyst geode. Ah! I like cut it in half. That looks so satisfying. Leave a like if that is oddly satisfying. I just made a furnace in this thing and I got a giant furnace. Is this gonna do the same? Whoa! Yo! Yo! Yes, please. Okay, perfect. Now we can. Wait a second. Can we smelt all this iron? I'm going to the giant crafting table and make. A giant block of iron! Dude, I love this thing. This should be like a tool in regular Minecraft because, well, now we're gonna say goodbye to the amethyst geode and replace it with a giant iron block! Wow! And now we're gonna use the giant iron pick to find a giant iron- Oh my gosh! Who needs an iron farm when you can just do that? Now we have all the iron we could ever ask for in our entire lives, basically. And we'll get all geared up. And you know what else we can make? A giant iron sword. Yo, so this thing, oh, look at that thing. Look how big that is. And look how ridiculous my surroundings look right now. That is what happens when you infiltrate a normal Minecraft world. Tons of giant stuff. All right, so we're actually finding a lot of gold using this pick and that's really good because if we get enough gold, as you can see, we had those apples from the village chest. We can make a bunch of golden apples and then, well, we have the giant crafting table so we can make a giant golden apple. And just look at my trail. So the giant crafting table is still up there on my platform. This is my mine right here. This is how it's done when you have giant stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna collect all the gold I can find I'm gonna try and find diamonds. It looks like we have a cave pretty low here. This is where the mine shaft connects to, so we might actually find some mine shaft chests, and sometimes those do have diamonds. What happens if I just completely break through the mine shaft? Oh my goodness, dude! <gasps> Creepers! Oh my gosh, okay, my freaking computer, man. I can't do this anymore, but it did reveal more caves. Woo! My goodness, I forgot I had this giant iron sword, dude. Look when I hit some mobs with it. They go like flying back. Okay, so this thing pretty much one hits anything in existence. So I don't even need to really be that afraid anymore. I was kind of running away and where is it? And there we go. My And two of them and 
gold. Beautiful. And you know what, guys? I'm actually going to take this regular iron pick because of the first world problems that come with the giant one. Sometimes I just want to mine a couple blocks at a time. So that's good to have. Silk touch would be good in any other scenario. Don't really need it here. And we have a skeleton dungeon. No, get out of here, skeletons. Leave. Now, I still I don't have crazy super armor yet. Now, I believe if we get enough diamonds, which I'm trying to look for, we can create giant diamond armor. This chest absolutely sucked. And we're going to get rid of you and just, you know, use the normal pick to dig this up. All right, let's go back. We have 25 plus three gold. We can make a bunch of golden apples. Not quite. A, we don't have actually enough gold to make as many as we need. Let me do some gold collecting real quick. Wait, quick pause. A lot of you currently watching aren't actually subscribed to my channel. Take a peek at my analytics here located on the screen. If you could click that subscribe button, that would be dope. Also, let's try and get this video to like maybe, I don't know, 53 likes. Okay, continue. And by the way, glow squid. I always have to just, you know, see them on camera whenever I do spot them. They're so rare. And I found some diamonds. Look at that. Okay, so how many do we have here? We have, theoretically, it probably shouldn't have taken me this long to find diamonds. I have everything at my disposal ever. So we have five of them. That is enough to make a giant diamond pick, but because this already lags my computer, I think a giant diamond pick well, I mean, we can go see what it does. It's probably not going to be pretty. So if we use the giant crafty table, oh my gosh, giant diamond pickaxe. Yes, come to Papa. Let me at least start just smelting a bunch of my gold before I start tearing into everywhere because I do need all that. If I mine right here, what does it do? Oh, okay, there goes Windows and it mines the, okay, it mines the entire, oh my gosh, I mined under the water. I just created a freaking underground suit. Nami thingy. Look at this thing, man. That's sick. I wonder if glow squids will spawn down here if low enough. I mean, I do have access to a bunch of caves now, but yeah, it spawns a little chunk. Does like my computer, but we can get a lot more gold this way and a lot more diamonds for that huge diamond armor. Yeah, I want to be in that huge diamond armor right now. That should be the next thing we do. Oh, the water everywhere. But I also want the giant golden apple. Those are the two items I want to get like right away here. And this thing is like an XP farm, man. We are just grabbing XP all over the place. If we had an enchantment table, that would really actually help out. Look at this bling bling blong everywhere I walk, dude. Oh, but before anything, no, 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 get out of here. Now we got to upgrade our sword. We got to make a giant diamond sword. <laughs> Look at this thing in my hand. Oh my goodness. No, it goes a level higher than this even, by the way, guys. We can get to a netherite massive sword. And well, to do that, we're gonna need nine giant diamond swords. So there's basically a lot of things we have to make. Let's start with the boots. Oh my goodness, giant diamond boots. Let's put these on. We'll take these off, put the giant ones on. Oh, I just elevated to a greater size. Oh, dude, this is actually sick. Like now I look like unstoppable. I wonder how big the entire armor gets you. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more of that, but I, we just need a lot of diamonds, okay? All right, I've collected enough diamonds to at least make the armor. Dude, I'm already massive as it is. I don't even know how, I don't even, look at this zombie. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the giant iron sword on the ground. This is getting out of control, but now I need to see, oh my gosh, giant leggings, dude. And now let's see giant chest. Oh my, look at that thing. That is one of the sickest diamond chest plates I think I've ever seen. And now we're gonna put the helmet on. Oh, and that's even better. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's go one at a time. We'll replace the leggings and boom, oh, gosh. We just got even bigger. And as we get bigger, our sword does as well. Look how big that thing is now. And now we're gonna replace the giant diamond chest plate and we get even bigger. We are just as big almost as the entire craters we mined out before. And if we cap it off, get it? <laughs> Bam, I am the god of Minecraft. <laughs> Seriously though, like my vision is skewed. I look like I'm playing on giant mode. Like Minecraft, but everything is giant basically. And I use my, look at this, the chunks that it's mining are like so small now to my vision. But okay, I don't actually want to stay this way the whole time. I'm almost too big. Like look at that thing on my freaking, okay. Shrink ourselves a bit for now. Go back to normal. We're going to wear that when we're done mining because right now, 
It's just, it's a, a little too much. So we're gonna need nine of these giant diamond swords. I can actually make eight of them. So I'll, I'll need to make one more and then we're gonna actually make another upgrade. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a massive netherite one. Why is everything so giant? There's giant coal, giant blocks, giant rotten flesh, dude. This is tripping me out. So let's take all the gold we can and let's surround all the apples we can. We're gonna need a lot more where that came from. <gasps> I forgot. You don't need nine golden apples. You just need one golden apple and you already create a giant golden apple, but you can make an even bigger one than this even, okay? But wait, 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 wait. Before we get into all of that, let's not get off track here. We do need to make this final diamond sword. So we're gonna do that now. Giant diamond sword. We're gonna put all nine of them into this crafting slot and... <gasps> the massive netherite sword. So now we're at the top of our game. Now we have the best and biggest sword that we can possibly get. And this is how big it looks, by the way, with me at normal size. So that's absolutely insane. And look, watch me try to eat one of these golden hour. It covers my entire screen. Okay, what does it do? It gave me two absorption hearts. It gives me every single effect in the game for five minutes. So that sounds good, but I mean, the one that you make with nine of these is obviously better. So I'm just going to go ahead and smelt even more gold. I have like everything I need just in this little spot <laughs> here in the caves. Oh my gosh, I'm a freaking giant running around Minecraft, dude. This is insane because I have the golden apple powers applied. Okay, so now just in case you guys didn't know... <sighs> How big that is this sword and all the others actually have looting on it all right so if i kill any mob like look at that it doesn't even oh my gosh it's so big it doesn't do the full motion of the swing it's just too big so i'm gonna kill a spider i'm gonna grab all its string that's 25 string because i want to i want to make a super like big bow so i'll grab all that but also if we find an enderman we're just gonna quickly get all the ender pearls we could ever need so it might actually be hard to try and find one from all the way up here but it'll Actually, no, it'll be a lot easier. Look how much ground we're covering in so quickly. And there's one right there. Are you kidding me? And look at that. Bunch of ender pearls. 12 of them to be exact. And guys, that is enough to create a giant ender pearl. So let's go back to our crafting setup here. By the way, <laughs> look at this place. Let's take all these ender pearls on the giant crafting table, put them all and fill it up. And boom, we get the giant ender pearl. Look at this, dude. This is one of the my favorite videos I've ever done, just because of how cool everything looks. Like, I never thought doing something very giant would be really cool, but it really is. <laughs> All right, so here's the village. Let's toss it in the air and see what happens. Giant ender oh! So that's why I wanted to use all those ender pearls to create a giant one and waste them. Well, it wasn't really wasting them. And it looks like I forgot a chest because there was a bunch of apples there that just fell out of the ground. So now I have all the ender pearls I'll ever need to get to the end. Okay, so that was that part covered. I need some blaze rods now, though. That's the problem. I might actually have to go to the nether. Look how big I am compared to the iron golem. Hey, little guy. Wait, can I kill him in one shot? Oh! And look at all that iron. <laughs> all right, so I got all the gold I need to make the rest of these apples now. So we are good. Look, we have 11 giant golden apples. Now we scatter all of these giant golden apples in a row. Boom, we get the enchanted golden apple, the giant enchanted golden. It's basically a not chapel, but bigger than the regular one. So now we'll have this in our inventory. We'll have this in our hotbar as well. This one just does double the powers. In fact, it's so big, I can't even like see half of my screen. Look at how, you can't even see it all. There's this one and then there's this one, dude. Holy smokes. That's what I'm gonna use against the Ender Dragon if I even need it, okay? I'm bigger than the dragon at this point, I believe. Oh, and I forgot, this sword can actually create ravines in front of me. So it feels like I'm just playing a game with all these mobs and they're just all gonna fall. I still have normal damage, by the way. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna die. I forgot I'm big, but I don't have any health boost, so I, let me eat one of those extra notch apples. Okay, so now I wanna create my bow. Obviously, we're gonna need a bow to tackle the ender dragon, and what better bow to create than, obviously, a really big one. Look at that guy, giant bow. Now, this bow is kinda cool. Like, if I shoot this mountain, obviously, the arrows are gonna have some, you know, some explosives to it. But it's not that cool. When I want a giant, oh, 
look how big it is. When I want a giant bow, I want one that shoots an arrow out like it's bigger than half the terrain in front of me. So that's why we need to create the mega bow. And the mega bow requires that we make a nine giant bows. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Just make a bunch of these. Oh my goodness, it's a pile of freaking ginormous bows. And now I'll put them all in my crafting table. Fill that entire thing up and boom, we got the mega bow. This is a better bow. Now if we fire an arrow. Oh my goodness. It went on my screen. That's how big it was. Look at this thing going through the terrain. Look how big that arrow is. Now you can actually collect this and you get more than one arrow if you do. So let me head up this mountain. Let me just pick it up. I just need to, I need to find its collection point. There we go. And now that I've collected it, I actually have 32 arrows. So that was my last arrow I just shot there. Now I have 32. So we basically have infinite arrows with this thing. We can just shoot those big guys into the sky. They disappear quick, man. Holy moly, the game can't load them in. And look at this little guy hiding in the sand over here. Hi, little desert temple. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Whoa, there are two desert temples right next to each other. Okay, one of them we can destroy. All right, well, I don't want to complain completely destroy it. No, I, I want the loot from both because we do need the TNT guys. So we're gonna take off our armor. We're gonna shrink down size and we're gonna enter into this place and hopefully not die. So let me grab all this TNT here. Perfect. It's more than enough. And there's a unique item that we're actually gonna be making out of this. We need sandstone as well. So I'll grab one piece of sandstone. And what do we got in these chests? Yes, I was gonna wonder if we had gunpowder. We do need gunpowder as well. We can actually create it already. So if I put the giant crafting table down, we'll put it down right here above. Look at me, look at the table. And we go ahead and use our TNT and then we put our gunpowder in like so and then put one piece of sandstone in the middle. Oh, that's cut sandstone. I need this regular sandstone. So we put that in the middle, boom, look at that thing. It's the mega dynamite launcher. I'm gonna reload the dynamite launcher, boom. All loaded up and uh, if I go ahead and do this whoa we're inside a piece of massive TNT okay get me out of here before this thing blows up we're gonna blow up this temple using the massive TNT it's so funny and if I detonate it I can just click G oh my gosh holy smokes that took out the desert temple all right all right the next item we're gonna make requires a bunch of iron okay so if i go ahead and i make an iron sword real quick take that giant iron sword we're gonna put it in the middle of a bunch of iron bars and we're gonna put iron blocks on the edges and boom we get the Lone Knight's Lance. Oh my goodness, and a third temple over there, by the way. This desert's really crazy, but look at me. And there's a village. Bro, what is going on here? But look, as you already know, I'm already like the king of Minecraft, but if I use this, well, that happens. But if I use this, oh no, I, like if I was smaller, this would look a lot more epic, but I basically have a bunch of, well, flying swords around me that will kill any mob wherever I go. This thing will take them out for me. Look at this, they're killing all the pigs and stuff, just taking them completely off their feet. All right, so forgive me, but I really don't like the nether and I try not to go in there, but we still need blaze rods. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice my massive netherite sword into the craft we're about to do, but it will be worth it, trust me. We put four iron like so and surround it with diamonds and then we put the massive netherite sword in the middle. We get the earth's excavator and I did it, it's gone. No more netherite sword. This is the tool that's gonna get us the blaze rods essentially because, well, if we right click with this thing, uh oh, I'm sorry, cow. Everything that's about to happen has already happened. There goes the grass and Ah! Oh my goodness! That's not why I wanted it though, okay? So that's not gonna give us the OP loot. All we're gonna get from that is just a bunch of just mob jobs. But if we go ahead and left click with it, we can actually throw, you know, little crater bullets all over the place. It makes craters and drops a bunch of OP items everywhere. So now, 
we have to look into these little piles and find ourselves the blaze rods because it drops pretty much every OP item in the game. And we might just get to skip over blaze rods altogether. I found some eye vendors. How many? Six of them. So we already have six. And here we go. We have some right here. How many is this? Please be enough. That's six blaze rods. That makes, oh yeah, that should be enough, right? That makes us 18 eye vendors. Beautiful. Okay, let's eat. Let's head to the end. Let's get to the stronghold. And let's finish this thing. Okay, so it looks like it's right down here. Please don't blow up the stronghold. I beg you, please don't blow up the end room. Just get me to the stronghold. There we go. Finally, I'm here. There's an amethyst geode in here. Very nice. And I think that right there, we have ourselves an end room. Yep. That's it. I didn't destroy it. Fill all this up and boom. So we'll use the lance to activate the little swords so that all the undermen are just going away from us. They shouldn't be able to reach us from here. And wait, can I? Whoa, with my golden apple, I can just launch the drills at this thing. <gasps> You're kidding. I think the ender dragon was hit by one drill. Enderman, why would you do this? Why would you have the ender dragon kill my? I wanted a better well, I wanted to at least eat my big, ginormous apple. There we go. All right, well, I actually have to just, like, small in myself so I can complete the game here. There we go. And now I should be able to fit it in. Boom! That's how you do it with large crafting, ladies and gentlemen.